not even trying to look back at what I was doing before. I'm just trying to focus on what's going on now. Not trying to get get on anyone else's books or watch anybody else or do what they're doing. I'm just trying to get my thing going. And I, I think I can safely say by the time I hit 35, I should be all right. I should be all right. I should, my family should be in a nice place. Do you know what I mean? Nice and safe. Hopefully that's South London. And yeah, we should be all right. I actually wanted to be a bank manager. Yeah. I wanted to own, run my own bank, be able to take money out when I wanted, whatever, whatever. But things slightly change as you grow older. You might just start off with a little thing, start off selling little 10 bags here and there. And then you'll, you'll if, next day you're, you're selling 20 bags, and the next day you're selling 40 bags. And then before you know it, in a whole day, You've made like two hundred pound, just from doing things you normally do, going around checking your mates. Your mates asking, "You got anything on you?" And then you made two hundred pound. You think, "Wow, I made two hundred pound today." Next t- tomorrow, I'm gonna make another two hundred pound. Next day, I'm gonna make one hundred and fifty pound. Next day, I make two hundred pound. By the time we got into the week, you got a nice lump of cash. And you think, "You're right. Am I gonna go and sign on?" I don't need to go into the office and scratch on, make them stupid people see my face, so they can, whatever, you know what I mean, glow at me and say, right, ah, look who he is, Mr. Mr. Ferguson, back, or Mr. Who's back, Mr. Smith. Do you know what I mean? It's, it's not my cup of tea. So I thought, right, I'm better off doing what I'm doing. And before you know it, you're, just, you're up in the clouds, you know? You're up in the clouds and you feel, right, you've got to calm down. All this money, you've got to calm down. You're floating now. Time to calm down. The negativity I see here is more people of their own dung fault. You understand? People who drink a lot, people who don't have the will to get up in the morning to go for a job so they would go under the tunnel and beg and, you know, drink the tenants or wherever it is. And to me, I think that is probably their dung fault, really. In some ways, maybe. Some ways, maybe society. But the yardy business is more or less a... Um, is just a uh, other alias name you must say, probably for somebody who's doing something bad from a country. But that doesn't mean to say that all um, Jamaicans is like that. You see? I don't like using the word minority too much, but it's a small number of people. You understand? Where they put an alias name on. You understand? Okay, it's like, it come like the Muslim thing and the bombing right now. You see? The mistake they make with this whole thing is mentioning Muslims. Just say criminals, or people from Saudi Arabia do this thing. Instead, you implement a whole religion of people, a whole wide name of people, just by using the word Muslim. Down here ain't so bad, but when you step out of here, yeah, you go to just say you went over to north or east or something you do see a lot more crackheads about on the street just out there doing nothing aimlessly and drunkards they're all about <laughs> now Campbell has got his small section we probably have our small section small of crackheads because it's a small place nobody's heard of Campbell if you fly through no one even knows that it's there as I see it people are classed into sections of people you get bad people from every single race you get good people from every single race. It's just the point of meeting those people. Even the bad people sometimes are your pals. They're like your best friends, even. And then that's an easier way of, of, like, of put, put, narrowing it down narrowing to like it down, one yeah, the yardies are coming in, they're bringing the trouble, right. But if you think so. about it logically, yeah, really, the yardies can't be the ones doing it because how do they get it here? They need, you need to have a connection right. somewhere, somewhere high up. There's a lot of shootings with Asians. We don't hear a lot of Asian and Asian crime. Have you ever heard that? No. Have you ever heard of Chinese and Chinese crime? I know Chinese boys that are ripping up town, shooting, shooting people left, right and centre, like they're in an arcade game. But you don't hear it that much because it's the blacks. That's the main focus. It's like, 
right, if we can do something about the blacks, we can conquer the world. They might have gun amnesty here, knife amnesty. But what, that's okay. A few people throwing a few of their old guns that don't work anymore, and whatever. Give them a reason to go buy a new one. I didn't see no normal man on the street making no guns. Government make the guns. The army make the guns. And then when they're finished with their guns, their guns are just left in all foreign countries, just laying there. Then they think, all right, then you've already blown our country to pieces. We'll sell the guns you've left here and make some money. They come floating back in again, and it's the guns they already had. It's, it's like a loser's way. You could rock it out instead, but so it advances, innit? We started off with swords until they invented gunpowder. <laughs> no more swords. Now we use the gun. In one aspect, you've got dodgy policemen where it would be good for them to give you a gun. It'd be good for you to maybe, I don't know, maybe tell them something that would be useful to them. And then if that's, that information is useful, then boy, who's used to say we won't give you two guns next time for your information. If they weren't there, there'd be chaos. And it's no lie that no, there'd be no control anywhere. And they're there, they just get in the way because they don't really do much. They don't really find who you want them to find. It doesn't look like it is on TV. They always catch their man. They don't always catch their man. They just, they're just there getting paid. Just like everybody else doing the job. But their job is vital. If Trident is supposed to be so effective in South London, how come you can still just ring someone up and a couple of days later you can get a gun? get bullets and everything, start shooting the next day. You are not going to stand in my way of getting that. It's like there's no one should stand in your way of getting that. If you're going to stand in my way, I'm going to get you out of my way.